Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to program the Roland MC202. Now there's a few of these videos on YouTube, but uh, since I've been doing tutorials on the other stuff, I figured I might as well do one on this one as well. Now this machine is a linear sequencer, unlike the 303, which is pattern sequencer, which basically means uh, you can't change patterns on the fly, you just have to program it all in in one go. Anyway, there's, uh, there's four modes on here. You've got the play mode, which is obviously for playback. You've got pitch mode, step mode, and gate. The pitch mode is for entering notes. The step is for setting the step length. And the gate, you can set the gate length independent of the step length, which kind of can lead to some interesting things. And on the other side here, you've got the cycle mode, which means it will just repeat over and over. Battery, that's if you're running on batteries, it will show you that the batteries are low. Pausamento and accent. Now, to change the modes, obviously, if you press play, it will just goes straight to play mode. And if you press edit, it cycles through the three edit modes. So, to put some notes in, you first need to go to the pitch mode. And uh, I'll just put in, I'll put in eight random notes. I'll press play again. And now when I start, it just plays a single, ver single pattern. So, first thing I need to do is put it into cycle mode. If you look above some of these keys, they've got double functions. The ones with the white labels are the ones you can shift. You've got some here as well. So I'll press shift and I'll press the tempo key and it says cycle above. And the cycle mark comes on here. And when I press start now, it will just keep looping that same pattern over and over. Now, I don't like the step length. It defaults, I think, to 24. Uh, I want to set it to 12 so it runs in 16. So... I need to go to edit mode and I go into the step and we'll see this information here. First, obviously, the first little mark here shows that we're in step mode. Um, the one signifies that we're on channel one. The two is the type of note. And you've got, if you look on these here, you've got zero to four. Uh, at the moment, it's set to two. It's non legato. And this is the actual, the number on the right here is the length of the step. So I want to set these to 12. So, if I press this key here, and I change to 12, I press enter, and it will advance a step, and the same thing. You don't have to keep pressing 12, if you if you just press enter again, it will just put the previous setting in. So I just have to step through all the notes. Now if I press play now, and start, it's now running in 16th. Now if I want to put some accents on, or some portamento rather, I go back to uh, step mode, and uh, basically I just, on the step I want, let's say I want to put a slide on the first step, I press the portamento button, and the marker comes up here, I press enter, oh, I have to go back there, I have to set the step length as well, otherwise it will just put the default steps in again. So if I press enter now, and then I'll put some, another portamento here, and one there. Now I press play, start again, and when I turn up the portamento knob, you'll hear the slide starting. And it's the same for accents, so if I go back to step mode again, and I'll step through, I'll Set the step length to 12. Step through and input some accents on some random steps. Now press play. When I increase the accent knob, the accent, uh, this is only VCA accent at the moment. I'm going to show you another trick in a, in a second. But this would just basically uh, make it a little bit louder. The trick is, which I forgot to tell you, is if you're in gate mode, the um, VC accent doesn't work at all. It only works when you're in envelope mode. So I'll turn that down and start that again to let you hear that. As you can hear, it, it's just accenting via volume. Now, if I want to accent the filter as well, I have to, you've got an accent on the shift key here. If I hold the shift and press accent once, it now says FA, which means filter and amplitude. 
if I just do accent again, this is what it defaults to, it's just amplitude. So if I do FA and then play it, you'll hear it will actually affect the filter as well. Now the trick is here, if now I go back to gate mode, which disables the amplitude accent, it will only accent the filter. Which, if you're trying to do a 303 emulation, um, you can use that and just have the filter accent. But back into to envelope mode, it will play both. <laughs> I mean that's pretty much it. Um, when you're entering notes, you don't have to. You can use. You can shift the keys. I go back to play mode. I can show you this. I press up or down, so you can get a full range. Then obviously you can change the range on the synth itself as well. Um, when you're editing steps, you can cycle through with these. It says step here. You can go forward or backwards. And if we'd actually put some measures in here, otherwise otherwise known as bars, we can step through them as well. But I've only done one this time. So yeah, that I mean that's pretty much it for for this time. Um, I will do another video in the future which will show you some more of the advanced features of this. Um, you know how to set different gate lengths, um, the types of notes, and how to how to program bars and to copy bars and, and to paste them. But yeah. Um, that's it for now. So if you're interested in this one or any other kind of these kind of videos, check out my blog. It's www.dinsync.info and you can find that from the YouTube link, obviously. And yeah, check it out because I do all sorts of these things every week. So um, maybe there's something that's interesting. <laughs>